Hello, today's IELTS speaking lesson is all about education. Do you work or are you a student? Currently, I'm studying. I'm doing a master's degree in digital marketing at Greenwich University. Why did you choose that subject? Actually, I am fascinated by Google and social media, particularly Instagram. And when I received my bachelor's degree in history, I decided to do something that would earn me a living. In fact, even though I am a student, I am earning a little money from a blog I created. I want to pursue a career in marketing, perhaps working for myself. Would you describe yourself as a good student? Well, I get good enough grades and I read around the subject I am studying. I am not what you would call a SWOT, nor indeed an ideal student, but if I like something I apply myself, most importantly, I enjoy studying. Are you studying English at the moment? Yes, of course. I've always studied English and now all the important information on the web is in English. I have just done an intensive course, for the IELTS exam, where I attended classes three times a week, morning and afternoon. And I plan on pursuing my studies particularly in marketing English. Did you enjoy studying at school? No, not at all. I never really liked school. I couldn't sit still in the classroom and the atmosphere at home was not conducive to study. However, the workload was not too much to handle and I could always do enough to pass at the end of the year. The only good thing about school was being able to make friends. And fortunately, I had good classmates. Now, have a look at the card and prepare a monologue. Describe a period of time from your studies that was the most difficult for you so far. You should say, when it was, why was it hard, what you were doing at that time. I would like to talk about my last year at university. It was really difficult due to the enormous amounts of study, it was my own fault because the subjects I had chosen did not appeal to me. I thought I could work at the last minute. As luck would have it I was plagued by throat infections and boyfriend trouble. I had to do and all the exams almost from scratch, I thought that I had messed up. Um, so I studied hard, having no time to lay about. Moreover, I had missed a lot of the topics so it was more like learning than revision. But despite all that I managed to get a respectable grade which has allowed me to continue my studies. So in the end, my efforts were not in vain. I am still in the academic system and finally doing something I like. What are some essential qualities every teacher should have? It is my personal opinion that every teacher should be intelligent and experienced in life. You cannot be a student one day and a teacher the next. You have to be very mature and a bit of a psychologist. It is very important to make your subject interesting to the others and maintain discipline. Also, a teacher should be a specialist in their particular subject and be kind, all in all a teacher has to be someone out of the ordinary. What are some of the pros of studying on a distance learning course? To be honest, I can't really say. I suppose you waste less time traveling to and fro, especially if you have a part-time job. Not to mention that it is fairly cheap. Compared to one-to-one -to -one classes or expensive university degrees with expensive accommodation, the main disadvantage is that there is no peer pressure to spur you on. Does everybody get equal opportunities to study? Definitely not. Back in the 70s in the UK anyone could go to university as it was free and you were given a comprehensive grant to live off. Even if you were rich you could not get into university if you were not clever enough. It is not the same today anyone with money or who is prepared to get themselves in debt can go. 
Moreover, only a small fraction of people can afford to study there.